Welcome, soul family. In today's light language transmission, I am bringing through light codes and healing for the father wound. This particular wound is very difficult for me to talk about. It hits really deep for me, and it has been one of my greatest wounds and healings on my journey. And someday, maybe I'll share my story with the world. But for today, I would like to focus this healing on the entire collective who has suffered from this wound. Many of us have carried the father wound in one way or another. For some, your fathers may have passed away before you were born, or maybe they passed away while you were here, at a younger age, or at any time of your life. For others, maybe your father abandoned you before you were born. Maybe he abandoned you while you were around. Maybe he left you for others or a different family. For some, maybe you felt rejected by your father. Maybe you felt neglected by your father. Others of us whose father was present, you may have felt that the patriarchal way of being caused the distorted masculine aspects of your father or any narcissistic traits and characteristics that he had embodied to shut you down and dim your light, to make you live under his shadow or under his power and control and domination or perceived power because the truth is nobody outside of us has any power over us, only we have the power to co-create our own destiny and reality. However, as children, If we felt unsafe, if we felt like the people around us, especially uh, the masculines around us, maybe you had siblings, maybe you had cousins, maybe you had uncles, or other people who were in place of the father, who you didn't feel safe around, you did not truly feel protected by, and this may have caused you to step more fully into your own masculine energy, into defense mode, and adopt distorted masculine energy to find ways of keeping yourself safe in the world, to find ways of feeling protected. Maybe your father did not know how to express his emotions and therefore he prevented you and oppressed you from emoting yours. Maybe he suppressed your self-expression and you felt as though you had to contract and just go into your shell and weren't able to be who you truly are in the world. Maybe your father was busy working, trying to provide for the family and therefore he could not be there for you in the way that you expected him to. As children, we are codependent on our parents because as children, we are unable to look after ourselves and fend for ourselves in the world. However, as we grow, we realize that that responsibility is ours and that it is safe for us to detach as attachment breeds great sadness and sorrow, as holding on only forces us to feel pain that we no longer need to feel on our journey and that it is safe for us to let go of. The more we hoard this pain, the harder we will find it to walk freely on our journey ahead. There are some wounds that are drilled in so hard and so deep by certain people that no amount of words, no amount of time, No amount of money, no amount of physical presence can heal those wounds. But the only thing that truly can heal those wounds is unconditional love. And this unconditional love has to come from within ourselves. We must love ourselves. We must protect ourselves. We must stand up for ourselves. And we must learn to feel safe and secure within ourselves without looking outside of ourselves and giving our power away to others. The father wound teaches us this. It teaches those of us who are females how to raise our children in the future if we are to have sons, how to help them to become divine masculines, how to love and nurture them correctly so that they do not go on to project their pain onto others, so that they do not go on to project their anger onto others and so that they take accountability and responsibility for their actions and are able to build healthy relationships with people. It also helps us to choose harmonious partners that are in alignment with truth, with integrity, with unconditional love, with radical peace and forgiveness. A man who is a divine masculine, a man who embodies all aspects of himself, 
and is not afraid to embody his yin and yang, however knows how to tame the beast within so he can have a healthy relationship with those around him and bring up his children in a healthy way. Shiva is a beautiful embodiment of this. His ability to find peace, calm, strength, power and stability in all situations was what helped him to not only become a great husband but also a great father. For those of us who are males, masculine energy and in male bodies, who have suffered from the father wound, this wound is teaching you exactly that, how to become a greater version of yourself, how to remove and relieve yourself of toxic masculinity and toxic patriarchal structures so that you are able to bring balance and equilibrium into humanity, so that you understand that your power and strength is not in dominating, manipulating, controlling and trying to force your will upon others, but it is in being a free sovereign being and allowing others to be free sovereign beings and walk their own paths. It is in knowing that you are here to support the feminine as the feminine is here to nurture you. It is in knowing that allowing the feminine to stand in her power and essence does not take away from or strip you of your masculinity. However, it adds to your masculine strength. It adds to your Shakti energy and it adds to the man that you are destined to be. The father wound is there to teach you how to become a great partner, a great spouse, a great father, a great son. The father wound, in essence, helps us to realize and take back our power in many ways. It helps us to realize that we are not victims of our circumstances and that each individual being in our life has had a massive role to play, especially our family, who are primarily karmic in nature. They teach us lessons, which later on, should we be willing to heal from and forgive, we can convert and transmute them into blessings. They teach us that we are true alchemists of our own reality and that we have the power to create the future in any which way we choose, so long as we are willing to take responsibility and accountability for the wounds that have been inflicted upon us and we allow ourselves to go within and love ourselves so much, nurture ourselves so much and fill that space with pure positive energy and light. Allow God, Source Creator, to fill those wounds. Allow Source Consciousness to fill those wounds. Allow Christ Consciousness to fill those wounds. Jesus was truly an amazing depiction of what it means to be a Divine Masculine in physical form, as was Buddha, as was Ram, and many others that have come before us. There are still some saints today that walk this earth that embody the Divine Masculine energy Sadhguru is definitely one of them who is a father figure like teacher for me and you may find others who you resonate with who will help you to heal the father wound as you see that they embody their divine masculine energies and they are in alignment with their truth, their authenticity and their integrity. It will help you to realize that others did the best that they could, that your father did the best that he could whether he was present or he was not. If he ran and he abandoned you, then it was simply because he was running from himself. If he tried to control you, it was simply because he felt that he did not have any control over himself. If he tried to dominate you and have power over you, it was simply because he felt powerless. If he caused you pain, it was simply because he was suffering in pain himself. If he was not able to provide you healing, it was because he did not know how to heal himself. So the time has come now to acknowledge and accept what you have been through, to go back in time and to really see yourself in each of those stages and to envision your now self going back to your inner child at each stage where the wounding and trauma occurred and assisting your inner child to realize how far you have come, to realize that they are loved, cared for, protected, and divinely guided and shielded by the divine to remind them that the true father is father god holy spirit that the true father is source and that we must always remember this spirit is saying it is safe for us all to forgive now and to give ourselves to spirit god creator source so that we can walk our path in truth 
In truth, your family has been there to help you break free of any limitations that may have held you back from becoming your greatest version, from embodying your higher self. So although they may have caused you great pain and grief and great trauma on your journey, your trauma will become your test and your test will become your testimony of how you conquered and triumphed through all adversities and no matter who and what came against you, you kept going. I came across something that I would like to share with you all and I feel that it will really resonate at this time. Forgive who did not know how to love you. They taught you self-love. Forgive who did not know how to treat you as you deserve. They showed you self-care. Forgive who did not believe in your dreams. They pushed you to go forward and self-motivate. Forgive who did not know how to support you. They helped you to self-empower. Forgive and make room in your soul to become the best version of yourself. And so it is. So with that said fam, it is time for you to empower yourself and release any victimhood consciousness. Release anywhere where you have been playing small or keeping yourself small or dimming your own light in the presence of others who may have made you feel small or inflicted pain upon you and trauma in such a way where your behavioural patterns automatically make you dim yourself or automatically make you contract in the presence of others. It is time for you to pave your own way. It is time for you to take charge of your own life. It is time for you to detach from all and become your own person. It is time for you to come across as who you are. In my case, I am Annette Singh and I am embodying my true authentic essence now. I am giving myself fully to spirit and acting as a vessel for source from this moment forward. I am breaking all chains, all generational curses, all parental, societal and ancestral programs and conditions, all curses that came through my bloodlines, my mother and father's bloodlines, and I am setting myself free now so that I can be who I came here to be, so that I can be me, so that I can be free, so that I can be who I am destined to be. You may say this out loud to yourself with your own name. It will empower you, fam. It will help you on your journey ahead. Now find a comfortable place and relax and allow yourself to receive this light language transmission with the intention to forgive your father, with the intention to accept your father for who he is, for where he is at, and to empathize and understand that he too was born into a primarily patriarchal society of narcissistic dominance, and therefore he may not have known any better at the time. Understand that as you forgive, you can decide which kind of relationship you would like to have with your father or with any other family members, any other masculines in your life that you may have felt like abandoned you or did not serve to protect you when you needed them. It is safe for you to take charge now and decide how much of yourself you are willing to give and how much you know you need to keep to yourself. You no longer have to overextend. You no longer have to undervalue or undermine yourself you no longer have to hide your strength. It is safe for you to rise. It is safe for you to shine. And it is safe for you to align with the divine. Take a deep breath in. And set your own intentions for today's light language and what you would like to receive from it and what you would like to release. The more times you listen, the deeper the layers will go. Remember that any childhood wounding is quite deep it is the source of all of our future relationships and our relationship with ourself. It is the source of our relationship with intimacy and our relationships romantically. So set the intention which serves you best at this time. And each time you come back, you may set a new intention and allow the energy to do its work for you. Simply open up your heart to fully receive these light codes and allow Spirit, Divine Source, Creator to do the rest.
Shoot.